<sighs> okay, I just want to say first off, this camera is really annoying me. I don't know what's going on, but it's not letting me record properly. So I'm having to record in a nice square for you, like you're going back to the 1990s internet. But whatever, let's plough on because who cares anyway. So you've probably seen the article about the US regulators trying to break up Google well apparently trying to break up Google we've seen this kind of stuff before which I'll maybe go into and one of the things they're talking about is forcing Chrome the web browser forcing them to sell it to another company and first thing kind of reminds me of is um, what happened a couple of years ago with TikTok getting the Chinese company ByteDance to sell it and I know that's come back up again and they're supposed to sell it or who knows what's going on well I don't really want to talk about Google too much now. I don't really care enough about Google now I know hypocrite of hypocrites I'm using Google sure I know you're probably using Google we moan about Google I don't really care if to use Google. I have to use it because compatibility with um, family members, let's say, who use Google. So there's certain services I've got to use. Fine. Anyway, I'm going on too much about Google. But the reason it's important for this channel, you guys, if you use Firefox, there's an important important thing that goes on with Google and Firefox that you might not be aware of. if you see other Linux channels and videos you probably hear about it but it made me think and I don't know if videos have been done about this already I haven't actually watched these videos really yet so I don't really know but I'm gonna tackle it for you today god my intros are terrible so long anyway let's let's get into this so why why should you be worried about it if you're a Firefox user like myself? Well, if you've looked about how Mozilla, who own and develop Firefox, um, get their finance, they get it from Google. And there's a good reason they get it from Google. It's because apart from the Chrome web browser and Chromium, that Google own as well. Chromium's the open source um, part of the project, as you can see here from Wikipedia. Um, and as you can see, it's got a BSD free license, which means, if I'm correct, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it means that Google can take a open source version of Chromium and close it off, make it proprietary, put their own stuff on it and they don't have to give you back the source code of their project. But the, let's say, main or normal um, Chromium project is open source. They can't close that down. That's why you have like Brave Browser and uh, other forks of uh, Chromium. And Chromium of self, itself, of course, is basically that with less Google stuff in it. Um, obviously, I think Chrome probably has certain elements that, you know, um, you can access, whatever, and switch stuff off. I know this is a big thing. And the, the point is, I'm not even going to get into what's the best just the best web browser. I don't really care about web browsers. You could probably tell I'm not the biggest fan of these things. Not just because all the cliches bloat and that, but look, the web is the web and these web browsers have to basically work for everything. Absolutely everything. That's in a way what's been good about Chrome. It's one of the best of a bad bunch like Mozilla Firefox, the best of a bad bunch. So this could, however, breaking Chrome away from Google could actually be bad for 
Mozilla Firefox and therefore could be bad for you if you're running it. So let's also now set the um, situation with Google and web browsers and the search engines and all this stuff and how therefore it can affect Firefox. So Google pay money, a lot of money, we're talking hundreds of millions or billions actually to lots of different companies, big tech companies, web browsers, all kinds of things, all kinds of companies. And the reason they do this is for their web search, which is their big part of their business. It's their main revenue is advertising, um, getting you on their platform to search and spend all through Google. Google's like your window to the web, right? You load up your web browser and Google's probably there. 99% of you probably going to have Google at when you open your web browser. It's probably possibly going to be on your Android phone if you've got an Android phone. All kinds of different um, bits of software devices. So, so Chrome is a huge, huge part of that. If you're if you're running um, an Android device, it's probably going to be one way or another. It's it's going to have Google stuff on it, even if it's Samsung or whoever. All these companies, they get paid money by Google to have Google software, and you can't necessarily remove it in normal ways. Um, so that's the first thing. Apple. Apple get paid billions by Google to have the Apple um, web browser, Safari, or whatever to load Google as the default, right? Again, this all plays into Google's hands. So, where does um, Mozilla Firefox come into this? Well, Mozilla Firefox, as you might have seen, Let's bring up Mozilla Firefox. Um, this is on Mozilla Firefox. This web browser is Mozilla Firefox. Well, as you might have seen, it gets millions and millions and millions and millions of pounds from Google. And it's really their main source of income. Making a popular web browser, which is not so popular anymore, safe, functional, and up to date costs money and means it needs developers, developers cost money and uh, Google do this as well for a very good reason. They're not necessarily so interested in having Firefox um, with Google in that Firefox is such a small part of the web browser market, it's tiny really. Is as I understand it, and I have heard this from other people in videos, it's because this is how Google hoped to avoid this kind of thing, to avoid the Department of Justice from breaking them up saying, well, we have other competition. Um, Mozilla, Firefox, for example, is a competitor. The irony is they're a paid off competitor. They're deliberately kept alive by Google to show the Department of Justice. It's a ruse, really. Let's be honest about it. Sorry, Google. It's a ruse. Everybody knows it. Um, because it's such a small part. Okay, maybe it's a benefit to have Mozilla Firefox users load up Google. You know, some of that is revenue still offset some of what they paid, but this is relatively minor. We're talking millions, not even billions here. It's it's smoke and mirrors. It's a sleight of hand. Um, so why should you care if you're if you're running Firefox you should care if this goes ahead because why would Google now pay Firefox to have the Google search if the Department of Justice says they can't so effectively it will be a legal matter a legal block Google will not be able to pay any competitor money to have or any business to have the Google ecosystem, the Google search, they they will not be able to like monopolize this the whole thing with this. This is why they're trying to break it up. Will this literally happen though? 
will this happen? Well, it's not got good precedence really. And we had this whole thing with Microsoft. I think this article, you can look at this article, I could put it up on the thing. I'm not gonna read this out to you. Can you imagine me reading this out to you? I mean, you might laugh, but this is gonna be so inane. I know maybe, well, if it's bad enough listening to me, sure, I know, but who cares? You're here, you've made it this far, all two of you. Um, but, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. But, will this happen? Probably not. I've got a feeling, like Microsoft in the past, the Department of Justice will be told not to proceed, whether it's this new administration coming in, in the coming months, or whoever the um, Attorney General is it? I don't know. I don't do American politics. I'm in the UK. This is why I've got this scarf. It's freezing here at the moment. And, uh, very cold in the UK. And uh, I'm going off tangent again, but it's probably not going to happen. I've just got a feeling that Google will probably just get a fine. That's what happened to Microsoft, right? In the 90s, Microsoft dominated everything in computer desktop technology. For Now, obviously, Google is a significant part of the internet ecosystem and, well, devices on Android, I guess. So, if it goes ahead not good for Mozilla Firefox, they are not going to have the money to pay their developers. They're, they've been questionable for a number of years how they've been run and it's not necessarily going to change market share. If Firefox got huge market share, but you've got to remember Chrome would be sold off. Chrome would be owned by another company. They won't have Google on it necessarily. They'll have whatever they have and it's going to be a big company because they're going to have to sell it for a lot of money. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be Microsoft, but it could be, I don't know, Adobe, who knows? God, can you imagine that? Um, anyway, I don't think it's going to happen. I hope it doesn't happen. Irony of ironies, I hope Google gets to keep Chrome because they keep Mozilla Firefox live. It's the only half worth. It's the best of a bad bunch. It's just about tolerable. I don't know how I could use the internet without it. I would just pull all two bits of my hair up. Anyway, this is enough of this video, it's driving me mad um, going on about this because it's pretty boring. Anyway, that's it. Do your uh, fake YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe. That's it, I'm out.